Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Black Orange here, back with another scripting tutorial for y'all. And thank you guys for penetrating that subscribe button. Like, really, you guys hit the sub goal in no time and now we're at 600, road to 1000. So let's go ahead and get started. So today we're going to be focusing on how to make a player completely invisible. Now this was also suggested, so if you guys do have a suggestion, go ahead to the comments down below or join my Discord server in the description and go ahead and tell me what you guys want. There's a lot of suggestions, so I'm going to try to do them all. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, go ahead and open up um, Studio. And as you see, uh, this guy also um, suggesting stuff like wall run and stuff. Which is fairly complicated, a lot of math, and I don't think you guys are ready for that just yet. It's going to be really long, honestly, if I think about it. But for now, let's go ahead and just um, make what we're um, doing today. So I might make another channel called Roblox Developers. This way, um, we can all post content, and it's, it's kind of like a community channel instead of a one person's channel like mine. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, what you want to do is go ahead and add a local script into the starter character scripts. And now you can call this anything like invisible player or anything like that really. So what you want to do is go ahead and get your basic variables down. So I want the player. I want the character. And I think that's really all we need. Okay, so we also need user input service. A wrong service. Um, user input. And then we want a key because we're going to make this uh, key bind thing. So, E. Alright, let's go with E. I think E is cool. Alright, you remember that? Um, Alright, so let's get started. So you want to do your basic input begin event like always. Alright, if game stuff then return the end. And we don't really need no debounce, you can add one. Uh, you guys probably know how to add debounces, you've seen my videos many times. So yeah, I'm not gonna go over that. If input dot key code equals to um uh, uh key then so what we're going to do is make the player invisible and visible. So here local function invis all right visibility var all right if var equals true if var then so if um the variable is true what we're gonna do is um make the character invisible so uh well gonna make the character visible actually so um uh for um part impairs character get the sentence do if part is a base part or part is a mesh part then part dot visible dot transparency is a one now this makes everything completely invisible and then what we want to do is go ahead to the character character dot um head dot face dot transparency equals one and this should make um you uh actually no this should be zero yeah we're making um them visible so all right yeah that's that's that and then we can do an else statement just copy paste this over just copy paste this section just paste it in here and then just oopsies uh, if you guys do something wrong, go ahead and do Control Z to undo. And all you want to do is change these to 1. 
All right, and then what you want to do is just go ahead and do visibility and then say we want um, All right here. Let's make this even easier local visible. All right when you start off you're always visible so um, So if visible then um, Visibility is false and Else visibility is true so then you want to make yourself visible and then not visible. So it's really based on um, based on whether you're currently visible or not, which is set to true. So it will make you invisible. All right. So let's go ahead and test this out. Our key is E. And yeah, so let's see if we go in there. And there we have it. Now we are completely invisible. And I believe um, let's check out. A few things out. Um, all right, there will still will be footstep sounds. You still will touch dummies and stuff. And yeah, well, um, that's how you make someone visible or not. I'll go ahead and let you guys take a look, pause the video, stare at the script. Uh, all you need is a local script, and that's really it. Uh, oh yes, we forgot to test whether it makes you uh, visible again. And if I press E again, it does not make you visible again. All right. Um, so yeah, I, I shouldn't have ended the video so fast. Uh, oops, ignore that. Um, e. All right. So, oh, okay. I know then. All right. So we actually forgot to toggle the visibility. So visible equals false else uh, visible equals true so it actually didn't toggle so it just kept making us um invis so yeah oh okay so uh if you find the problem of this part sticking out it's actually the humanoid root part so you can go ahead here and do character dot humanoid root part dot transparency plus one all right and that should fix all issues and we are in this man and I actually get rid of the shadow which is cool and yeah so that's actually it for you guys go ahead and copy this script I'll let you pause the video if you guys haven't go ahead and join my discord server we teach how to script build mesh whatever you need really and hopefully you guys become great developers and hopefully this video was useful Thank you.